What is a high interest savings ETF? It's an exchange traded fund that holds cash deposits with Canadian banks. How do they work? They basically work like a high interest savings account that trades on the stock market. So when you hold a high interest savings ETF, that amount is held in a high interest savings account with a bank. Once interest is paid out to the ETF provider, it is then distributed to the shareholder as income interest, not a dividend. So why would you buy a high interest savings ETF? The main reason to hold one of these ETFs is to earn interest income. Since these ETFs have existed, Canada's interest rates have never been higher. This is great for an investor who wants to earn extra income with cash sitting in their brokerage account. Currently, they are offering very competitive rates, much higher than high interest savings accounts at most financial institutions. They are also on par with GICs and bond rates. And unlike some savings accounts, GICs and bonds, these ETFs have no minimum balance required, as long as you can purchase one share, which is typically $50. Another advantage is their liquidity. At their competitive rate, they can offer more liquidity than GICs, bonds, and treasury bills. You can easily sell these ETFs without penalty to take advantage of other market opportunities. These ETFs are also for the investor who wants to reduce risk in their portfolio. Equities are great, but you may need less risky assets in your portfolio while still earning some kind of return. Or what if you plan to cash out soon? Like if you wanted to buy a house in six months, it would be risky to hold your funds in equities, fixed incomes may not have competitive rates in such a short period of time, and cash wouldn't earn you anything. Now, why wouldn't you buy a high interest savings ETF? One of the biggest reasons is that it's not CDIC insured. Balances up to $100,000 are CDIC insured in your traditional high interest savings account. These ETFs do not offer such protection. Another reason not to buy is because of the long-term rate of return. Although these yields are currently high, they aren't fixed and will likely lower when the Bank of Canada decreases its interest rate. This makes this ETF more suited for short-term time horizons. The next reason comes down to your broker. First of all, your broker may not offer these ETFs like RBC, BMO, and TD. If they do offer these, then you need to take commission fees into consideration. If you have little to invest, the commission fee may not be worth it. But if your broker offers commission-free trading, no need to worry about this factor. The next reason is that it's not as liquid as cash on hand. If you need these funds instantly for whatever reason, bring money to Big Rock in Mojave Desert at dawn. You'll need to wait till the market opens, sell your shares, wait one business day for the trade to settle, then transfer to a spending account, which can be a few business days. But it is possible to alleviate this problem by using your credit card or a line of credit till your funds become available. All in all, these ETFs are income generating short term investments with less risk and more liquidity. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the most popular high interest savings ETFs available in Canada. Traded since 2013, Purpose High Interest Savings ETF, ticker PSA. Currently, this ETF has an assets under management of $4 billion. They have an MER fee of 0.17% and their latest reported yield is 4.59%. This is a great choice if you value a long track record. Traded since 2020, Horizons Cash Maximizer ETF, ticker HSAV. Currently, this ETF has $2.1 billion in net assets and an MER fee of 0.12%. This ETF does not pay interest like the other ETFs on this list. Instead, it reinvests them, which increases capital growth. This makes this ETF more tax efficient in a taxable account. Only 50% of capital gains is taxed, while 100% of interest income is taxed. Next, traded since 2021, Horizons High Interest Savings ETF ticker CASH. This ETF has a total net assets of $1.5 billion, an MER fee of 0.13%, and a current yield of 4.69%. This ETF currently has the most attractive MER fee and yield, but just note that these fees and yields are constantly changing and will probably be different by the time you watch this video. Other high interest savings ETFs to consider checking out include CSAV by CI Global Asset Management, HISA by Evolve, and for US dollar ETFs, ETFs, check out HISU.U by Evolve and HSUV.U by Horizons. Now that you know some of your options for high interest savings ETFs, where should you buy them? Although these ETFs offer high interest, paying less for commission fees will maximize your returns. With Quest Trade and CI Direct Trading, you're able to buy ETFs for free and only pay a commission fee when selling. But if you want no commission fees at all, your options are Disnet, National Bank Direct Brokerage, and Wealthsimple. 
If you're interested in signing up for Wealth Simple, use the link below to earn yourself a $50 bonus when you trade at least $150. If you want to continue learning, check out one of the videos on the right of the screen. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep making money moves. Peace.